Well, visitors to Central Park may be keeping an eye out for something wild after the Parks Department confirmed that at least one coyote has been spending some time there. CBS 2's Tara Jakeway joins us live from the park with more details. Tara? Well, Natalie, we have been on the lookout all morning here, and so far, no sightings. Now, it's important to note that that one coyote, there is not yet any photographic evidence, but for some New Yorkers, that doesn't seem to matter. For some, just the confirmation of a sighting is enough to stop them in their tracks. It's kind of shocking to hear that the coyote would be here because it's near the road and the dogs. Skip Levesay says news of a coyote spotting spread fast in his building near West 80th Street, which overlooks the park. Many of his neighbors already lining up a coyote run-in strategy. Grab the dog and just stay away. Many of them concerned primarily about their puppies. We consider this whole stretch here to be the dog place because everyone brings their dogs here morning, noon, and night. We scoured the west side of the park in our CBS2 mobile weather lab and spotted plenty of those dog walkers, bikers, and runners, all that share similar concerns about the wild animals. Ethan Aiken runs with his friend in the park every morning. He says he knows coyotes have a leg up on him. Are you concerned you can't outrun the coyote? Uh, yeah, I think she can, but <laughs> I'll probably get left behind. Well, what would you do if you saw a coyote? Run the other way. <laughs> The Parks Department asks that New Yorkers report a coyote sighting if it is a clear threat to public safety. According to the Parks Department, citywide, there have been a total of 62 coyote sightings reported since 2016. And this year alone, 36 reported since December 15th in the borough of Manhattan. They say they cannot confirm how many were submitted from Central Park as people are not required to list an exact location and they have no way of tracking numbers because multiple reports could be for the same coyote. And Natalie, they also say if you cross paths with wildlife, that you should respect them as you would any other New Yorker and give them plenty of space, which we all know can be easier said than done during the holiday season. Live in Central Park, Tara Jakeway, CBS 2 News. All right, good advice. Thanks, Tara.